that there are some of you who have gone on to other political parties, but I, I do say that this is worth the project. This is worth the investment. I've been to the UCP AGM. I've seen former PCs and former Wild Rosers together in the hospitality suites and debating up at the mics. It has been a successful project. So don't give up on it. And the time for you to come back in is now because we have a leadership vote. You have to buy your membership by August the 12th. And what I'm hearing from the grassroots is we want to have fair nom and open nomination processes. We want to make sure that the grassroots decision making and direction is respected. We want to make sure our MLAs have free votes so that they can represent you. They're there to represent you as their elected member. And we also want to make sure that we, are, we respect our member past policy and we are uh, doing a diligent job of connecting that to the legislative agenda. And I think if we do all of those things, we'll be able to restore your confidence. So as you can see, if we focus on liberty, if we focus on autonomy, and we do some genuine effort at unity, I think that we are going to be unbeatable. Every shade of conservative is welcome in this UCP party. I thought it was interesting when Candace Bergen was speaking on the weekend. She said, unity doesn't mean uniformity. And that kind of stuck, struck with me. We don't need to have uniformity across all issues. We can have a little bit of variation because that's where we're going to be able to have robust conversation and where more people are going to feel part of our movement. So we're gonna be a principal party, we're gonna work hard, we're gonna succeed and we are going to be the freest jurisdiction in the country. And I hear Pierre Polyev tends to make Canada the freest jurisdiction in the world.